Aquaview, the camera that started it all. It's got the HD7i here, and I really like the camera, but I'll tell you, it's using that old kind of old style battery and I like the Dakota lithiums and we've got a 10 amp here that's much larger even though the footprint is much smaller than the battery that's in there and we all know the benefits of lithium but in order to get that in there we've got to do a few simple steps one is take the monitor off that's how we're going to start off here the second is we're going to get us a t15 torx and we're going to remove these little rubber plugs once we take the monitor off because then we're gonna have already taken the liberty of doing that. Then we're gonna take these little bolts out, there are six of them, so that we can access the battery that's nice and hidden right in there. And we're gonna make us an access so that we can charge without having to do all this every time, but yet have that lithium battery in there. So I selected the Dakota Lithium 10 amp because really that's the biggest we can fit in there. This is fit in like a glove. This is the lead acid that's in there. So we're gonna get rid of that exactly the same size but I wish you could hold these things and feel the difference. Producer dude was like, what's in this one? Lead acid versus lithium. Crazy difference in weight. So when you're carrying this thing around ice fishing or whatever it is, we're gonna get a lot more runtime, but a lot less weight on top of it. We've got a product here. It's actually a Minn Kota trolling motor quick connect. But what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna use this and wire this in on one side and leave this plug dangling out so we can quickly access it. And then we're just gonna plug this in here quick like that. So when we're charging, it's gonna be super fast, but we can disconnect it. That battery can remain sealed up nice and tight. We've got a little access to it. So I'm sure there's a lot of ways you can do it. Maybe you guys can give me a better tip on this, but I'm going to drill a hole in the top on the opposite end of where the terminals are going to go. And that way we got a little bit of uh, leeway there for the wires to come up. And still when I have the monitor on the top of this, it's not really going to be in the way too much. Um, there's different ways you could go through the side or the lip, but then I don't really want to deal with the cord. So we're going to put one on the top there and pull those wires right through. So the next thing is we're going to cut these uh, connectors that they had on there off. We're going to strip the wires down and we're going to put a, another connector on here because what we want to do is they've got a little double spade connector here on the, uh, the clip. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on there so we can tie it right into the one that's there, pop that in and we're going to make that kind of semi-permanent and that's the next deal. So what we're gonna do here is we've got the, the piggyback connectors that came from Aquaview. We just plugged our little harness in there. And now we're just gonna fit these on. A little bit tight in there because we're gonna try to keep all these wires tight. We put the fitting little gasket back on here. And we're just gonna put this all back together. So the last little thing that I did is I kind of made this a little more universal and I also put some just little spade connectors on the opposite end of this. So. That way this is going to fit right in here like that. We can take it on and off really easy and I can use different chargers that way because I got a couple different types of chargers. The other thing we didn't show you because it was going to require all hands on deck here is I put a little grommet in there so it's super tight, keeps some moisture and water out of there, perhaps out of that compartment. And then we're going to have the screen going right down on top of it. Pretty much don't even know that it's there. And that's a simple way to make your Aquaview run a whole lot longer and be a whole lot lighter at the same time.